Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what it is learning in real time. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I've got feedback here, so I better stop this. Okay, so what happened today is uh, I just decided to go on to Zoom to show you because in Zoom, I can show you um, my screen. I can do a share screen. So that's why I tried this. And Facebook and it says go live. So I'm like, okay, I'll go live and we'll just see what happens. Holy moly. Okay. So what happened was, and I know I should be looking at the camera, but I'm trying to find stuff on my screen because it's really important. I want to show everybody this. So I'm out and about today and I check my phone and I get notified that Garnier, which I don't know if it's, if it's available in the US, but it's a Canadian company and, or at least the Garnier Canada account uh, notified me that I won and they had been running a contest and I looked at it and it says, you won, go to my page and I'm like, or go to my account or something. I'm like, hmm. So I click on it and I go there and immediately I think this isn't right because it, I had already liked the account, the main, the proper corporate account for Garnier. It's a big brand. It's like, you know, it's probably owned by one of the Fortune 500 companies. I didn't look it up, but it has like 16 million likes or followers on it. So this account has just been started, has no thing. And then it said, you know, message me here. And I'm like, yeah, that's not right, right away. So I try and uh, report it to Facebook, but on my phone, it wasn't letting me. So then I went over to the Garnier page, the real Garnier page, and I messaged them. And I said, hey, someone's spoofing your account. Because if you go to the contest, you can see that every single person that entered had been notified and it doesn't end till tomorrow. So here, I wanna show you, uh, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go to Facebook. Here's my Facebook page. So if you get notified, so I'm gonna show you here live. Here's your notifications. So I'm gonna go down, oh, come on. Wait, oh, okay, of course it's not there now. I think because I clicked on it, it won't show me, but okay, if you go to Garnier here, you're gonna see the real page. Look, 16 million likes, right? This is a real page and notice it's got the blue check. So you click on it. Okay. And then, okay, I'm waiting for that. I got to move my little self over there. Okay. So I sent them a message and their messages always pop up. Oh gosh. I am so not a fan of the new uh, Facebook setup, but they were giving a, uh, a contest. Okay. It is now the ninth. They started it on the third giving away, right? They have 1200 comments. Now check this out. Go like this and view comments. Okay. I got one reply. Look at this. You won. Visit my profile. Garney. Okay. Right away. That set me up a red flag. If you click on it, it goes to a pin post. It's a product or service. It's not that. How many people like it? only 18. Um, clear. Look at this. Three hours ago, everyone who is lucky today, thank you. Comment my post page. Not even proper English. Like and share this post. Register immediately. Scam, scam, scam. 13 comments. Okay. Look at that. They're just ripping off. Look, no other posts. No other posts. This is a red flag. Huge, huge, huge. No blue tick. Not even, right? So the first thing I did was I go and find support or report page, okay? Scams and fake pages pretending to be another business. I tried to do this on my phone, but it did not let me do this. So let's see, Garn. Yes, 16 million people. Yes, it is reporting to be them. Okay. And then this one, we're going to block it. I already blocked them. And um, so if everybody who entered got a notification and let them know, Facebook will take this down 
And so this is where you can tell right away, live, real time, this is a scam. So if you go back, if I'm gonna go back to the real Garnier, um, I think I can just go back. Can I just go back? So the back button, back button. Oops, I went one too far. I'm not patient enough to see. And you can see it's Garnier Canada, lots of like see. And so I sent them a message and I said, on your recent contest, a page spoofed you and notified every entrant they won and trying to report, but Facebook wasn't letting me. Please stop the scammers. Okay, well, I did now and I hope you do too. So, but if you can see, look at every single person that entered has a reply. Like every single, like this is so bad, so bad. Oh, they just stopped. Okay, well, anyway, when I was on my phone, it looked like every single person. So what a scam, but you know, this is real. This was the real one. See, you can tell. See, closes August 10th. Winner selected and contacted via private message. That wasn't a private message, Canadian residents only. You gotta look for all the things and this is why. Let me see if I can go back and um, yeah, so there's 36 comments. Okay, I don't, I can't see any of the, oops, stop sharing. Oh my goodness. This is all new to me doing this in, but it was so important that I, I got on really quick to show people what a scam in real time looks like and how you can stop it. Because po the poor people, now think about it. It's either an agency or Garnier themselves. Someone in a marketing department is, they, they're, let's face it, they're not working 24 seven. So I'm gonna bet Monday morning, they're gonna come into the office or log into their computer, wherever they are, depending on if they're lucky enough to work from home and see and have access to the client account or their marketing department and freak out at all this crap on Facebook, these poor people. So just remember marketers are people just like you and me, they're doing the best to promote the products of the brand that they you know, are employed by and probably love because you usually don't work with companies you don't believe in. Clearly they're doing well if they have 16 million followers. Heck, I have some of their products in my uh, bathroom. Just they're, they're really good. And they're gonna wake up to that horrendous spoofing, scammy stuff first thing Monday morning. So if you can have entered or received a comment, go please and report them to Facebook. And I know it takes a while because I got spoofed on Instagram about two weeks ago. Everybody let me know. I reported it like 10 times. I had other people report it. It took about I don't know, 24 hours, almost a whole day before Facebook took it down uh, because Facebook owns Instagram before it got taken down. So we need to help the good companies because they're trying to run legitimate giveaways and have fun with their new products because they just released a line of products, uh, organic based, which is why they were doing the contest to do one of their ways of promoting, which is a way we love to learn about new products. And here they are trying to do something fun for all their fans and followers and pff, into the toilet it went. So hopefully this doesn't ruin their contest. Please go and report them. Actually, it doesn't matter who you are, just everybody report them. Because the more people that report, hopefully the sooner this will get fixed. I don't know if you guys can see that arrow on my forehead there. Maybe I'm not sharing the screen. Um, anyway, so something new for me to do just showing you live on zoom because i did it on zoom because i wanted to share my screen and show you how to spot a scam on facebook sadly they're not the only ones to have had this happen to them they're not the first they're not the last so now you know what to look for if it doesn't look right if it doesn't have a blue check if it doesn't follow rules if the grammar is bad if it doesn't have you know all the posts it's there's so many things wrong with it. It's such a red flag. And sadly, so many people fall for it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So just be careful when you win something. You can generally tell when it's legit. You know, I won a t-shirt on Twitter the other day and they had, they DM'd me, they private messaged me and they told me to email 
the agency, they even said, we're gonna, here's the email to our agency and the agency is gonna send you out the prize. I emailed the agency, the agency emailed me back with release forms. I know for a t-shirt, but clearly legit, filled them out, got notification. Like you can tell when it's real, even for a small prize. There's steps involved. They, they make sure everybody's taken care of and it's proper. You can, you know, when it's the real thing. If they ask you ever for a credit card or money or buy something or send us a gift card or anything, or give me some private information like your social security number or your SIN number if you're in Canada, social insurance number or banking credit, you know, anything like that, red flag. So I hope I have saved a few people some headache today. I just had to jump in and do this and get the word out before I went out to have dinner or go out and make dinner. I'm not going out anywhere. <laughs> I just stay at home and do work and been writing books. So I hope that helps. Uh, put any questions you have in the comments because clearly I have no idea what I'm doing on uh, doing the Zoom and the Facebook Live. So I have no way to see any <laughs> questions that people are asking me. So ask your questions in the comments and I will uh, manually answer them after. Thanks. Bye. Oh, now I have no idea how to stop this. <laughs>